Hospital at Home is exactly what it says on the tin. It's care delivered of hospital standard by hospital specialists in the patient's own home. And we do that because for all the patients with frailty, being in an institution can have a downside. So delivering the care that a patient requires when they're sick enough to need a hospital in their own home avoids breaking up the bond with the family and it avoids several elements of an institution such as delays, risk of infection, confusion that can have a significant impact on a frailer patient. When a GP requires admission for an older adult with frailty, the call is diverted to our team and we will go out to the patient's house and be there within an hour. And the team will do an assessment of the patient that takes in everything from their experiences, their health, their medication, family, the setup, the home situation, and establish what we would call a hospital clerk in. They would then be joined by the hospital consultant who would do a plan of care for that crisis, for that illness, just as they would do in hospital, but with the added benefit of being able to discuss it with the family and the patient in their own setting. And we would now normally round that all off within an hour and a half to two hours maximum. We do choose to admit some patients who we have concerns about, but they would be admitted with a plan of care with a review by a senior medic. So in a sense, they're not so much jumping the queue, but they're arriving at the point of care in hospital with a plan in place. But the vast majority of people were able to manage in their own home setting. South Lanarkshire's partnership with the Hospital at Home project in East Kilbride area has been absolutely crucial for us. And it brings together a whole range of teams that are already active in the community supporting patients, but brings them into the whole equation of supporting them in an acute medical crisis. So for instance, access to immediate home care, access to equipment, access to social work expertise and knowledge, and for the carers, crucially, access to support for them, being able to assess their needs, are crucial to assessing someone in a crisis and supporting them at home. But longer term as well, we're looking at rehabilitation needs for patients remaining in their own home. And so partnership with the integrated community support teams is crucial to getting ongoing independence for patients. One of the key benefits for hospital at home is that it's very much person-centered. We try and bring the care to the person and wrap it around them. And as a wider team, including our kind of partner agencies, were able to deliver that in their own home on their own doorstep. And in some degree, it gives the power back to the patient. The key thing we want to achieve overall is to have more older people who are healthy, happy, and in their own homes for longer. And that's the goal of Hospital at Home. My health condition is COPD. When I have bad attacks, I usually have to go into hospital. I don't sleep when I'm in a hospital. I don't eat properly in a hospital. It gets you stressed to go into a hospital, so you put it off and put it off. The day I saw Mrs Deacon, she was really quite unwell, and we wouldn't have had a choice but to admit her to hospital. She was very breathless and her oxygen levels were low, and she's a lady who doesn't ask for house calls, and doesn't ever want to go to hospital, but she was unwell enough to, for her to agree immediately that hospital was the only option. I saw her at lunchtime, I was asked if hospital at home would be an option, I wasn't entirely sure because I hadn't used it before. I said well maybe, but um, she is really quite unwell and I was reassured the team would be out to see her within an hour. When the senior nurse came the first day, she gave me a full check over, just as they do at hospital. It was done in a shorter time. Um, and she, she reassured me that the condition I'd told her was what was happening with me and she could treat it at home and if I felt all right about that she would go ahead and get the treatment started which she did right away. By a couple of hours later I'd had a phone call from the lead nurse who told me that the patient was feeling much better, that the consultant had seen her, that she'd had oxygen provided and when I phoned Mrs Deacon at the end of the afternoon surgery she, was, she sounded much, much better and was delighted still to be at home. On the second day, another consultant came and then for five days running, a nurse came every single day until I was off oxygen and breathing properly. 
I'm usually in about 10 days in a hospital and then I have to recuperate at home. I was back on my feet in five days here and I was fine after that. I live very independently at the moment but I know as this illness progresses there is a time I might need a care package to come into effect for me and it's reassuring to know that if I've got a hospital at home it wouldn't interfere with my care package. That could still carry on whereas if I was in hospital it would stop and I would need to get it reinstated. So that is a big plus for a hospital at home as well. I think the service office is a very comprehensive team with fast assessment by very experienced nurses with the input of a consultant and resources that aren't immediately accessible to us as GPs which might not be terribly high tech but which will be enough to ensure the patient can be looked after safely at home. Lots of elderly patients in similar circumstances would be relieved not to have to go to hospital. I would have no hesitation in recommending this service to both doctors and patients and I'll certainly use it again in similar circumstances.